up? Hello, everyone. It's Kendall here, and welcome back. If I seem really out of it today, it's because I kind of am. Despite of the amounts of coffee I've had in the last two days, I think I'm getting immune to coffee. <laughs> or not even coffee, but just caffeine in general, because I drink so much caffeine on a regular basis. Keeps me human. But beyond that, I am kind of entering this video with a little bit of irritation because this is my second time filming it because the first time, oh my God, it was just awful. <laughs> Today we're doing a full face of Wet n Wild, which was originally supposed to be a what can you get from Wet n Wild with $100, but let me let me explain. I bought $100 worth of Wet n Wild stuff. I tried to do like a first impressions full face of everything yesterday and oh my God, everything was going wrong, sis, both internally and externally. So like everybody's dog wanted to bark, everybody wanted to have loud conversations, my eyes wanted to water. And then beyond that, the products were being mad finicky. So I've discovered consequently that um, there's a lot of products I don't like from Wet n Wild. Thought I really enjoyed a lot of products from Wet n Wild. I really like their blushes. I really like their highlights. Spoiler alert, those don't change. But the other stuff is a little touch and go. Some things are like, whoa, this is amazing. And others I'm like, this is booty butt garbage. <laughs> I was getting so irritated filming that video that I could actually see it in the video <laughs> by the time I was done. And I was like, no, we gotta start over sis. We gotta, we gotta do this over. This isn't even quality content TM. So here we are again. It's no longer a first impression, obviously, because I've already filmed the video. So anyway, if you wanna see how we got here, kind of my thoughts on products overall, if you guys have any products that you think I should try, you should let me know um, if they're not in this video. And let's get started on the video. Let's go. So the first mistake that was made yesterday was that I used this. This is a Wet n Wild brush set. And I've used Wet n Wild brushes before and I've really enjoyed them. These ones with like the metallic handles, they look a lot like the Real Techniques metallic series or whatever. These are garbage, um, are just bad. They don't pick up powders. And if you use creams, then they just get all stuck together and actually start to get really, really scratchy. They feel soft if you just touch them. Everything looks super duper patchy or non-existent when I was using these. So this was the first mistake and probably why things went downhill from there. So when you see this set, don't buy this. It's really cheap. I remember it was maybe like $25, $30. I had a bunch of money left over from the $100 that I wanted to spend for Wet n Wild. So I just decided to get this, see if I could find some good brushes. These brushes, the ones that have the pink, these are good. Get these, don't get the other ones. Hot garbage. So that was the first mistake. I wanna try out everything else, uh, with the tools that I usually use and see how it goes. I did fill in my eyebrows already because y'all know that my eyebrows are going through a struggle period right now. They are growing back pretty fast though. Somebody, I think it was on Twitter after I did my last collaboration with Wish Trend, which may come back sometime in the next month or so, but I digress. I was talking to somebody on Twitter and they said that is it supposed to like help your eyelashes grow? Uh, Claire's doesn't advertise it as like a hair growing serum, but I've been putting it on my eyebrows and I don't know if it's just that my eyebrows growing back, but I have a sneaky suspicion that it's helping my eyebrows grow back quicker. So to fill in my eyebrows, I use the micro brow pencil in a color that is not on the packaging. I think number three, I will never understand brands that for whatever reason decide to put the shade name on the packaging, but like the plastic of the packaging so that when you open it, you presumably throw away that plastic. And now we don't know what the name of the shade is. For primer, I was trying out the water drop primer. This is in the scent Cucumber. I don't know why you would need your primer to have a scent, but it smells nice. I think one mistake that I made yesterday is that I used way too much. I think using too much resulted in it going a little patchy. Like my foundation was sticking better to some places and then not to the rest of the face. It does make the face feel a little bit slippery. I was thinking, I wonder, does that have anything to do with it? If you're not familiar, I'm kind of hit or miss when it comes to primer. Sometimes I put it on, sometimes I do. It feels more like skincare than it does a primer, priming product. It's still nice. So, bam, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -ba. this foundation that I don't know how I feel about. I've tried it before, I think in a different color and I didn't know how I felt about it. It was all right. <laughs> Photo Focus Foundation in Toffee, in Toffee Pecan. Wait, is pecan, pecan and toffee the same word in another language? Or is this Toffee Pecan? She's beauty and brains. Anyway, this foundation has a cult following. I don't know why. Um, I've never been super into it. I was hoping that this color would be a better match, but it's still not the best match. It's going a little bit red. But I noticed one thing that was a really bad idea 
was again using those crappy brushes girl I was a streaky mess and I didn't recall the first time I had used this foundation it being streaky it was just a little dry as you would imagine would be dry on me because it's matte and full coverage but yesterday it was just nasty it was patchy like some parts of my face were like way darker than other parts of my face so I've officially become like a stay-at-home housewife that has nothing else better to do than to like watch Lifetime or Lifetime-esque things. I've recently really gotten into 2020, <laughs> which seems random, but I ended up watching like a murder case on 2020 that has me watching 2020 every day, several hours of day. I was watching an episode about the lady that found out that her father was a serial killer from the 70s that just had not been caught yet. Can you imagine living your entire life with this dude who's your father? Like he's a little weird, but he's not quote unquote a bad guy. Nothing that would be alarming per se. And then you find out that he killed a bunch of people in the 70s and now, and you're like, you must have the wrong guy. My dad wouldn't kill anybody. And then he's like confessing. And it's, you're like, whoa, okay. He has a lot of information about how these people died. He might actually be a serial killer. Oh God, yeah. You see that? My face is super red in comparison to my neck and my body. Uh, so we're gonna just put it on my neck and body too. Cause like, then I watched another one where this lady poisoned her first husband and then poisoned her second husband. And then she tried to frame her daughter for the murders of both of her husbands by trying to kill her and frame it as a suicide. Girl, I think you got family issues. Okay, so this looks a lot better than it did yesterday. In an effort to keep things from looking super like cakey and everything, I'm not gonna do another layer, but I do feel like I can still see some little gray marks, which leads me to believe that this is not full coverage like everybody keep talking about. This is definitely more of like a medium, maybe medium to full, but I kind of found that when I layered it on top of itself, it just looked really cakey. So I'm just gonna leave it. Next up also from the Photo Focus collection is the concealer. This is a little bit more yellow tone, so I was happy with that because I can kind of counterbalance some of this, you know. Am I embarrassed or is this just the wrong color foundation? This is in medium deep. I did really like this concealer. I noticed that it was really creamy. It didn't crease up super awful on me. This color is good. Like I was a little concerned that it would be a little too dark, uh, but it's actually a really good color, but it's actually really hard to find this type of color in a drugstore concealer. Like, cause usually they'll just go way lighter than this or way darker than this. It's usually like two shades lighter than this or the exact color of my face. And, uh, but like orange. <laughs> Only thing that's kind of annoying is that not a whole lot of product gets on the doe foot. So I find that I have to keep going back a lot more than I really do for other concealers. And also about that story about the lady that was trying to pin the murders on her daughter and also kill her daughter. Can you imagine how much that tears up the family? Apparently the grandma, so the murderer's mom, sides with her daughter and therefore believes that her granddaughter did the murders. And so now they're like, yeah, yeah, she's such a liar. She definitely did the murders. I'm like, God, again, what type of family issues? What type of soap opera? Somebody make a movie out of that. And then you watch these like dramas and you're like, whose life is like that? Like, yes, there's people whose lives are like that. <laughs> yeah, watching that show really gets you both angry and just really disappointed in, in humanity. It's like just some people just shouldn't have kids. Some people just shouldn't be allowed to be around children. I was about to say own children, but you know what I mean? Like be around children. Like they're doing like a, cover story on well it's there's a lot involved but this woman that killed her children or tried to kill their children she successfully killed one just because she was obsessed with a guy who didn't want to have children so in her mind it clicked yeah i'm gonna kill my kids two of them survived one of them ended up testifying against her which got her a guilty charge and when she was on trial she came to the courthouse pregnant so now everyone's like why would a <laughs> Again, what type of lifetime movie? The child is born while she's in jail, gets taken away, and doesn't know her identity as the daughter of a woman that tried to kill all of her children and successfully killed one. She's adopted, dramatically finds out who her mother is in something that's very cinematic. She's like perusing the library and finds a picture of her mother. But it's a very interesting story. Like, like she's trying to not live in the shadow of like the monstrous things that her mother did and try to form her own identity. Quite a formative time in her life, I'm sure, but gosh, 
Anyway, watch 2020. <laughs> Dear eyes, I didn't really try this a whole lot because I genuinely forgot I had it. This is the Photo Focus Press Pauta in Golden Tan. Where? Y'all be using that word tan too loosely. It has a little bit of like a domed shape. Or is it baked? But it's like very, very finely powdered. And I'm gonna go under my eyes. I also got the Photo Focus Loose Powder. This one is in banana. I noticed that when I used this under my eyes yesterday, it kind of oxidized. And that was another thing that made everything kind of go blotchy because it looked like my under eyes were too dark for the rest of my face. So I'm gonna use this as a little bit of an all over face powder. Also because it's yellow, hopefully it'll kind of correct some of this like peachy reddish hue that's getting even stronger as we sit here. Okay, did that do anything? A little bit. Eh. 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 It's just a face. <laughs> I don't feel like it looks super great or super bad. I feel like for the price of the products, if I'm not mistaken, nothing is over $4.99. It's not bad. Next up we have blush. Now blushes have always been one of my favorite things from Wet n Wild. They're really well done. This one is in apricot in the middle. Oh. But what's interesting is when I got it in person, it's like a peach, but it has a nice strong gold shimmer in there, which makes it kind of pull off more like a blush highlighter, which admittedly isn't really my thing but since i know that now i can put it more to the outer sides of my cheeks instead of like going too far inwards because again it just makes things look a little funky so please ignore my lace i swear but it's like a beautiful like in between i kind of like how it looked on my nose and honestly day to day this is plenty of highlighter this is like actually I would pull stronger a highlighter than blush. Actually, another favorite is Mellow Wine. I had this already. It's a favorite. As a matter of fact, I'll apply a little bit of Mellow Wine because I want that kind of under my blush color because I was getting a little bit too much, too much glow and not enough like color. But another thing that Wet n Wild does really, really well are highlighters. Yo, fam, this is amazing, bruh. Bloom time, peachy pink highlighter. But oh, 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 sexy. It's gonna take a hair, just a whisper. Just a little whisper. Oh, yes. Looks so sexy. Oh my god, it's so funny. People on Instagram have been DMing me like videos of them putting on highlighter on their nostrils and they realize how good it looks. Hate if you want to. <laughs> Next up is bronzer. I don't remember bronzer being particularly awe inspiring, but I was also using those crappy brushes, so it might be halfway decent this time. This is in Bronze Dynasty. This has a sheen to it as well. It looks weird, especially in my lace. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Let's send no on the bronzer, just, just a hot no. Let's do a different bronzer. If we're feeling affordable, good old Black Radiance. Going with sculpt here. Yeah. My lace don't look bad from far away. Don't come too close though. Which in fairness, you shouldn't be that close to my lace unless you're paying for it. Just gotta shave off some of this, some of these cheeks. Look a little bit more mature. Oh, oh, yes, let's talk about this really quick. Okay, I got the Natural Finish Setting Spray. This, ooh, I sprayed it one time. It didn't come out as a mist, it came out as like a jet, like right into my eye. That was the first spray. Was like, interesting. Sprayed it two times, a mist came out, and now, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, piece of garbage, don't get it. I was very irritated. Cause also because I needed it. I was looking mad dry. Since we're talking drugstore, I'll just go in with the NYX Dewy Setting Spray. Boop, boop. That's not a little bit, that's a lot of bit. Quite a lot of bit, a little lot of bit. Now here's my background with like wet and wild shadows. I've never really had a problem with them. Um, I used to like them a lot when I was younger. I noticed 
though that all the ones that I had before, uh, rest in peace, God bless their soul, cause they're long gone, <laughs> were all um, matte palettes that have predominantly matte shadows. I don't think I used any of their shimmery shadows. And I've noticed for whatever weird reason, Wet n Wild shimmers are awful, which is strange because usually the mattes are kind of hit or miss, especially in drugstore palettes, but their mattes are pretty consistent. Forego using their shimmers at all and just use all the mattes out of this particular palette. This is not a basic peach. Oh. Basically, I wanted the peachy tones. There's also this blue in here. It is trash, it is muddy, it is not good. Basically, this up into here is great and then this matte until here is great all these like shimmeries are bleh so i'm just gonna ignore those i also have other like shimmery shadows that work better as opposed to these that are in these little palettes this peach right here because that is a theme i apparently decided when i was ordering these <laughs> like this peach color just gonna go in to the crease now i didn't notice this yesterday but this color has the slightest bit of shimmer but it's like one of those ones that it's like shimmer inside of a matte or maybe it's even like some of the shimmers from the other color got in this one or something it's still a beautiful color whoa okie dokie so i'm sitting here minding my own business i thought the second tie was gonna be better so i'm sitting here minding my good business and this photo powder this thing did nothing to set my lower eye area so i'm gonna just go in i'm just gonna use the tiniest bit of this yellow powder from color pop like smooth this out a little bit and to set it more effectively because it was this Ooh, i hope you can see that but this is with an extra set this is without an extra set see how like it's doing crazy lines under there it's like looking dry this is unfortunate i feel like i keep trying to use just wet and wild but they it's just not working <laughs> i feel like this is still going better than yesterday but since i'm doing this video again it really does cement that some things just aren't working well but the things that work really well work really really well like for instance this shadow these shadows a lot of the shadows in this palette are great it's just the ones that aren't are really bad <laughs> and the things that are great are really great it, there's no like in between i've noticed with a lot of wet and wild products this orange right here is super duper pretty so i'm gonna definitely incorporate that a little bit like i said i feel like their mattes are way better than their shimmers for some reason um which i don't mind i don't mind doing an all matte eye it's just like if there's shadows in a palette i want them all to work well now with that said they're very inexpensive as you guys probably know but the thing is there's so much inexpensive makeup out these days that are still really really good quality so like inexpensive makeup to me isn't really an excuse anymore i feel like it used to be like you get what you pay for but now people are like well we're giving you palettes at drugstore prices that work really really well so What's your excuse now, sis? I feel like though, if I would have just gotten one of the more like neutral palettes or they they used to have, I don't know if it still exists, it might've been limited edition. They used to have an all bright color palette that was all mattes and it was beautiful. And I remember when I was in like high school, I bought it because I couldn't afford a uh, sugar pill. <laughs> beautiful palette. Also it could have been that I didn't know any better, but I remember it being a beautiful palette. So yesterday I used the blue in the center of the lid and it became this like the blue doesn't have enough pigment so it ended up kind of going very very muddy and i was just not feeling it at all it looked so bad <laughs> bad bad and then i ended up putting shadows on top of it and then it just got even more muddy it was quite the struggle bus tastic so this time we've learned our lesson um the blue is not is this let me just swatch it for you it's kind of dusty kind of meh. They're all weirdly crumbly. Like no real pigment, that's just dust. Just ain't it, sis. I would not recommend this particular one because there's too many shimmers that don't work very well, but if you find one that's all matte, go for that one. I got one of their pigments. This one is in Gilded Crown. And I actually really enjoyed this. What I really liked about the construction of the packaging is that it has a little sifter at the top, but you can actually close said sifter and open said sifter, which I was like, that's incredibly, it's incredibly. Kind of minimize some of the mess that kind of happens when you do loose pigments like this. Now that's some impact. All right, there you go. I did notice weirdly enough that using it with water makes it not as impactful, which is kind of counterintuitive because usually when you use like water and shadows, 
it makes it brighter, but no, it actually dulled it out weirdly enough. If you're gonna get any of the eye products, I really recommend getting the liquid catsuit liquid eyeshadow. I thought this was a lip gloss in my package. I was like, why did I get this? I love liquid eyeshadows. What can I say? This one is in Shells and Whistles, and it gives you that gleam. It gives you that sexy. It gives you that nude pop. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of the liquid eyeshadow and maybe a little bit of the pigment just like in the middle. Should I try for the umpteenth time to do a cut crease even though my eyes are never the same shape when I do it? It is kind of easy to do with a product like that. Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. I love products like this. Yo, did I get it kind of, I did I get it kind of even by mistake? Wait, since we were talking about the weird stuff I've been watching, was talking to a friend of mine who's like a fan of the mukbang community. I've never really super been into mukbang, but like a friend of mine is really into it. And she was like, did you hear about the drama? This was a few months ago. She was like, did you hear about the drama in the mukbang community? Why is there drama in the mukbang community? Y'all eat. Whoa. <laughs> like what is, what is there to have drama about? By the way, I'm going into the pigment. That was a few months ago, but recently I got re in, uh, like reinstated into the entire like mukbang community. And oh my God, how y'all turn something as benign as eating into like a big mess? Granted, hella entertaining. Oh my God, I was really sitting there and I'm like, Kendall, this is, is this who you wanna be? Is this the person you wanna be? <laughs> the person that lives for this content? And I'm like, no. Continues to watch another video. <laughs> Watching Nicololo Varagato Avocado ruin his life and you find it funny and you shouldn't but it's kind of hilarious <laughs> oh god y'all seriously he's like the trish trish what is her actual name i call her trish potato trisha platus of the mukbang community if if she were a man it's really it's it's quality content like honestly but in all seriousness i'm gonna need people to stop putting too much information about their lives their love lives their dysfunctions on the internet. There's nothing wrong with giving like, like using your community as a pillar of support, but sometimes y'all need to just go see therapists. Y'all can't, y'all can't just keep putting this stuff on the internet, my dude. Like it's getting a bit much. Oh, that eye look is kind of fire. Look at me looking kind of cute. Taking a little bit of my highlight. I don't know why that sound like making my way downtown to me. Taking a little bit of my highlighter, putting it in. My inner corner, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. These next like few weeks are gonna be a lot of traveling. Like last year I was like, I want this year to be the year of traveling. And so I kind of like actively did things to make it the year of tra traveling. Whereas this time it's kind of like weirdly because opportunities are coming up. Weirdly because when you put the energy out, I told myself at the beginning of this year, I was like, I want to travel. I also want to do it for free. <laughs> Let's figure that out, God. Work with that. That's. <laughs> I forgot I have a pink eyeliner. What am I supposed to do with a pink eyeliner? So I have another eyeliner pen. I love a good eyeliner pen. This is not a good one. <laughs> well, it's not that it's a bad one. I just feel like it's for a very specific purpose. This is the skinny tip liner. And as you can imagine, it being the skinny tip liner, it got a skinny tip. Now I'm usually a long tip girl. <laughs> Sorry. I usually prefer a longer tip. I I usually, uh, I like my eyeliner to have a longer tip. I also don't prefer felt. I prefer brush tips. And this is like a short, very tiny, like needle-like felt tip. Now, the cool thing about that is that if you were trying to do like really, really detailed work, if you were trying to fix something even, with other liner, this would be great. The problem is because it's so short, you can't like lay it against your eye. So what I've noticed is that I have to kind of like bring it pretty much directly into my eye, which is nerve wracking and also hard to do, honestly. So I've noticed this is really, really good to get right in this inner corner area. But once you get too much on this actual lid space right here, it just goes to crap. Um, also, if you did a wing with another eyeliner and wanted to use this to like fix it up and make the point super tight, you really could. It's also really good to cover up the lash band of your eyelashes, but again, just using it to go across the eye, not so much. Follow up with a different liner for the rest of my wing. One other thing that's kind of cool is that you can do it ver uh, vertically and really get into your lashes like that in case there was a little gap. But yeah, I find that it skips a little bit too and it's just not fun, so. On edge long wear eye pencil in like this magenta pink color. Shock therapy. Now I'm gonna put this just 
because I can, I guess, in the middle of my lower lash line, just a little bit. I caught a cold type look. Not like a full on flu, but just like, oh, a chew. I will say I did really like this pencil the first time I used it. If I'm not mistaken, there's a bunch of other colors. Okay, time for mascara. This is the Max Volume Mascara. This is the wand. Looks a bit butt plugish, And the mascara is mascara. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's awful. I will say the little tip of the butt plug is really good at getting close to the lashes. I really need to stop saying stuff like that. I will say the last few weeks have really solidified. You have no idea who's watching your channel. <laughs> I'm like, people sending me emails. Oh my God, we love your channel. I'm like, do you? <laughs> People, businesses emailing me like, oh my God, we just love your like, your humor. And it's also those like snooty brands. And I'm like, y'all watch my channel. Thanks. Didn't take you to be the type of people. Anyway, I'm gonna pop on a lash. I just got sent these from Huda. These are the Shorty Olivia's number 18. Can I just rant really quick? Huda Beauty sent this like, big box like easily four or five times bigger than this singular pair of lashes with just this pair of lashes in it all oh, the waste just put it in a, i get it you want it to be like grandiose i get it that's a lot of cardboard please stop wasting the cardboard just put it in a little pouch and just send it out and be like hey we got new lashes i'll be like okay yeah so i'm gonna pop these on and i'll see you in a bit okay our lashes are on these are really pretty. Yesterday it was such a trip though because I put them on full length, which is always a bad idea. Always measure your lashes first. And they were just poking me in the, I'm telling y'all, yesterday was a mess. <laughs> my eyes was watering, the dogs barking over there. Everybody in my house wanna have loud ass conversations. None of the makeup looked good. It was a hot mess. So that's why we re-recorded. Anyway, on to lips. I feel like there's certain things you just don't need to spend a lot of money on as far as makeup goes. A lot of things, honestly, on most things. But one thing that you definitely don't need to spend a lot of money on is a lip liner. Crayon Contour in Willow, which is kind of like a nude. This is a lot longer than I remember it being too. It's not super soft. You kind of want them to be a wee bit waxy so that you find that your lips don't start feathering and stuff like that if that's an issue for you, especially why you buy lip liner. Me, um, in all honesty, I thought it was darker than this. So it would give me more of a contour. <laughs> but it's actually lighter than I expected it to be. So anyway, their lipstick's really inexpensive. This one is in Java. It's like a brown mauve nude. It does kind of have that cheap lipstick taste and smell, even though I'm not trying to taste the lipstick like that. It gets a little bit on your teeth and you can taste it a little bit. I did know I wanted to use a gloss. I didn't know which one I wanted. So I picked Till, one that is referred to as an actual gloss. This is the Color Icon Lip Gloss in Aquarius. And then I also got one of the Liquid Catsuit High Shine Liquid Lipsticks. A little brighter. And this is in Peach Stole My Look. Yes, all these peach puns. I'm gonna go in with that one. My lips are a little dry and I feel like the just plain lipstick wasn't giving me the, uh, the smoothness, the plumpness, if you will. Aquarius in the middle. Sex lady, drive me crazy, drive me wild. R. Kelly ruins everything, man. <laughs> I just remembered that he was also in that song. God. Ay, 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 ay. I am Jose Jalepeño. Okay, Ooh, what have I learned from today and yesterday's video is that a lot of Wet n Wild products are kind of all over the board. Probably more so than any of these videos that I've done up until this point, as far as like full faces of whatever products. Because generally speaking, I overall really, really like the brand and maybe one or two products aren't really that spectacular or I just hate everything. <laughs> this one is like, real in the middle i hate a lot of things and i also like a lot of things so let's talk i don't like this foundation i know a lot of people like the foundation the photo focus i just find that it's a little too just much for my skin but beyond that just finish wise it looks really dry regardless of what i use under it it's not a fan um if you're into more matte things maybe this would be better for you but i have dry skin so not so much the concealer on the other hand i do like i don't like the applicator it's kind of annoying like it's hard to like put it on <laughs> not hard to put it on but it's like you got to keep going back and put more on it keep going back because like... but beyond that the color is really nice it blended really well it stays really well if it's set with the proper products because yesterday it did set really really well yeah so i do like this this is this is worth getting not worth getting is this powder i feel like it didn't really blur anything and it also didn't set anything um this is the pressed powder from the photo photo focus line it is trash garbage the banana powder is a banana powder i i think it did okay 
I don't think it was awful. I will say that there's a lot in here. So if you're looking for an economical choice for simply the fact that there's so much in it, it's something to look into, but I don't think it's super spectacular. Um, the blush and highlight products are bomb and they've always been bomb and they'll always be bomb, hopefully, as long as they don't change it. Consistently good. Like I keep repurchasing these. I have like three or four different colors of the highlighters. Really, really awesome. They're super high shine, really blendable. Um, really high quality, like better than some of the more expensive highlighters I've purchased. Don't tell people. And the blushes are really, really beautiful, really smooth, really blendable. I prefer the ones that are matte over the ones that have a little bit of shimmer, but that's just a personal taste thing. Not a huge fan of the bronzer. One, it's shimmery, which I didn't realize that. And two, it just didn't show up very well on my skin. Um, not because it's not dark enough, but because there's not enough warmth in it. There's not enough like red or orange pigments in it to help it have a little punch on my skin tone. Maybe it'll look better on someone that's fairer than me. Color icon palette, eh, I feel like this is more of an issue of the shade I chose. The fully matte palettes are really, really nice. So if you want those, I would check those out as opposed to something like this that has a sizable amount of shimmers in it. If they have like a shimmer highlight color, it's not bad, but when you're trying to do like bright colors that are shimmers, for some reason Wet n Wild falls really flat with that. So I just, it's not, that's not it, sis. The setting spray I threw and I don't feel like picking it up but it's awful simply because I sprayed it once and it sprayed me in the eye with a fire jet. Sprayed two more times correctly and then just busted. Like it didn't work after that. So that was a waste of money. The primer is a primer. I don't feel like this will be super pore filling. I like it because it smells like cucumber, but do you need your face to smell like cucumber for a few seconds? I don't know. Also thrown on the floor is that brush set. Awful, just bad, <laughs> like really, really bad. This makeup looks better, more presentable than yesterday, simply because it was so streaky because of the brushes. No matter where I put them, if I put it on my blush, it was blotchy. If I put it on my face with foundation, it was blotchy. If I put it on my under eyes, it was blotchy. It was just bad. Um, everything blended way better today. The mascara is average. If you need a mascara, it's something to use. Also, if you want like, sometimes it's good to keep like meh mascaras around if you plan on wearing false lashes because you don't want to waste like your really good mascaras on like something that you're not going to see anyway. You know what I mean? I wouldn't mind keeping it, but I don't feel like it's something that I feel like people need to go out of their way to get, if you know what I mean. Drugstores have so many good mascaras that I just can't justify. Just can't justify it, my dude. I, I, I can't do it. I can't tell you to go get that. These on the other hand are nice. The Catsuit Liquid Eyeshadows. These are really, really nice. I want to try more of these. They're super high pigmented, really good quality. They blend. They perform a lot like my other ones that I've gotten from more expensive brands, like giving you high shine realness, really easy to apply. If you want to blend them out, you can. If you want to just apply them with the doe foot, really nice, like flexible doe foot. It's nice. Pigment is also nice. I would. Who driving like that? Do y'all hear that? Who driving like that? Anywho, they gonna catch you. Like whatever you're doing. Pigment, I do like the pigments. I don't find myself using pigments very often, so I don't know why I got this, but if someone's looking for a pigment and would like to try one at the drugstore, not bad. The mini liner is okay if you use it for basically everything but fully lining your eyes. Using it to cover up the band of your lashes or using it to do detail work. But if you're using this to fully line your lashes, nah. But considering I do have very specific things that I know this would be good for, cause like it doesn't get caught up in my fake lashes because it's so small and it can get really in there. I kind of appreciate it. It's cute. Eyebrow pencil is an eyebrow pencil. It's nice if you're looking for one that will do something very Anastasia Brow Wiz-esque. It is an option. This On Edge Longwear pencil liner is really nice. It's the lower lash line or on the lid. I used it yesterday and that was one of the few things that went well yesterday. This color is really interesting because it's kind of like a metallic pink. Definitely recommend these over the uh, Glossier Play similar pencils in the weird colors or whatever because this doesn't have that off-putting kind of waxiness that that those have that are very, very just uncomfortable. And these are, of course, Wet n' Wild, so they're a lot cheaper. The lipstick was nice. Did have that kind of like cheap L'Oreal lipstick smell and taste and texture. 
it's a little waxy um but as far as like colors actually i think it's because this one isn't a matte because i used to buy their matte ones that i've since thrown away because they were they were long past their prime girl they they had retired a while and i was just holding them here in this life and they just wanted to go but the matte ones are just beautiful really smooth but not greasy in any way so they don't apply like messily it's just really really good quality matte lipstick those are really good this kind of has that like kind of cheap lipstick taste but as far as like the color and the application beautiful lip liner is nice i just got the wrong color it's not super duper creamy though so if that's what you like this isn't really it this has just a slight bit of dryness as to keep your lipstick from bleeding actually so i don't mind that i don't really use lip liners that often I just wish I would have got a different color. But also you get a lot of product in this. And again, it's really inexpensive. So Katsu lip gloss, very similar. One is just higher pigmentation and the other one is not as much pigmentation. It's more up to preference. I feel like they're both really nice and lightweight. They're not sticky by any means. They're very comfortable. It feels more like a balm than it does like a lip gloss. Not super high shine. So if that's what you're looking for, this isn't really it. And that, my friends, is the end of the video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Enjoy this little wild ride with me. If you guys like this video, be sure to like this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, both of which are KennyJD. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.